Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video all about how to cover your dark under eye circles. Mostly everyone has some form of darkness under their eyes. It's caused by a variety of reasons. It could be hereditary, it could be because of dehydration, and also sleep deprivation. For me personally, it's usually all of the above. When someone has a lot of color under their eyes, whether it's blue or purple or brown or even kind of gray, green, use a concealer that has a pink or peach undertone or even like an orange undertone. This will neutralize the dark color under the eyes. If someone with a lot of darkness under their eyes were to use a concealer that is their shade, their exact skin tone shade, or even lighter, it will end up looking gray under their eyes because they're just shadowing over the darkness. You're not correcting and neutralizing the color. This is why we need to use a corrector to warm the color up. For those who have minimal amounts of darkness under their eyes, or even no darkness, they can get away with using a concealer that is their exact shade or one shade lighter. Now, as far as products are concerned, my favorite under eye corrector is the Bobbi Brown corrector. The shades that I use are dark peach and peach. And I mix these two. The reason why I feel like this concealer is so great is because they have a range of bisque concealers or bisque correctors, which have more of a pinky undertone. And then they have a line of peach correctors, which have more of an orange undertone. For fair to medium skin, the porcelain bisque, light bisque, light to medium bisque, bisque, porcelain peach, and light peach are ideal. For medium plus to deeper skin tones, the medium to dark bisque, dark bisque, deep bisque, very deep bisque, peach, and dark peach. Bisque neutralizes pinky blue under eye darkness, whereas the peach corrects the purple brown under eye darkness. Keep in mind you won't really know your exact shade of color corrector until you actually go to the counter and try it out. Make a sample of a couple different shades. That's what I did. I made a sample of the peach, the dark peach, and you know I found that mixing the two gave me my ideal effect. And you may have to mix a couple of shades to get your desired effect. Let me go backwards really quick to eye care. Just like any other makeup product, the better you care for your eye area, the better the makeup is going to sit on your skin. I like to mix. The two eye creams I've been loving are the Origins Plant Scriptions Anti-Aging Eye Treatment and the Origins Eye Doctor Eye Cream. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I apply my under eye concealer. So as you can see, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. So today my under eye circles are actually not that bad. Today is a good day for me. As you can see, I have mostly purple and brown tones on my under eyes. So the peach and the dark peach, the orangey tone in both of these are going to neutralize that color under my eyes, brighten my under eyes, and just get rid of the darkness. Clean fingers are going to be the most efficient way to apply your under eye concealer. The warmth of your fingers will actually warm the product up and help blend your concealer in a lot faster. What I do is I apply an even amount of both the peach and the dark peach correctors on my ring finger. The reason why we use our ring finger is because it applies the least amount of pressure. The eye area is very delicate. First I'm going to go into my peach and then my dark peach. Excuse the mirrors people. And then while I'm applying it I look up and this smooths out any fine lines under the eyes. I'm just gonna tilt my mirror upwards and I'm gonna look up and I'm just gonna tap it on. Just gently tapping.
Now when I'm applying it, I apply it all the way into the inner corner here. I go all the way down and I wrap it all the way over to the end of my brow. And then I take what's left on my finger and I apply that to my eyelid to neutralize any um, veins I have on there. After that, I go back in with my dark peach corrector on my pinky, just a little bit on my pinky, and I apply that where I have the most darkness, right here in like the eye bag area. So I just pat that on with my pinky. I don't want to apply too much product close to my lashes because it will end up creasing. And there we go. So. You guys can totally see the difference here. <laughs> this eye looks so much more just wide awake and bright and the color under my eye is completely corrected. I'm gonna kind of zoom in on this so you guys can really see the difference here. This eye is alive. This eye is still kind of zombified. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my corrector to my other eye as well so I can kind of even things out. You can then go in with a small amount of your flesh colored concealer that matches your skin exactly over that corrector to kind of blend it into your skin if you find that the corrector shade doesn't blend well with your natural tone. However, I don't find that step to be completely necessary with myself just because I do mix the two shades so they do end up matching or kind of blending into my skin. You want to avoid using too much powder. This is what will make your concealer end up looking cakey. I feel like I've made this mistake so many times and I'm just over the cakey under eye look. <laughs> I'll just take my big powder brush that I use all over the rest of my face to set the rest of my foundation. I just use my face powder that I use on the rest of my face which is the Smashbox Halo Powder. I use the shade medium dark and I literally just like casually dust. I don't feel the need to go in with a separate powder to set my under eye area. A great way to really prevent your under eye concealer from creasing is to just take your pinky again and just kind of smooth over the area that's closest to your lashes. Okay, so I think I have covered everything here. If you guys have any questions, please, please let me know. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm going to be listing all the products that I used in the description box down below, as well as links as to where you can purchase these items. I'll be posting all the information that I gave you guys in the description box as well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye, guys.